Our uh, new drama, Our House, kicked off on ITV last night as one woman came home to find her house had been sold behind her back. It all started after she discovered her partner, played by Martin Comston, had cheated on her. And the pair battled over what to do with the family home. He wanted to stay living there, but she wasn't having any of it. They don't seem to have any idea what's going on with us. What is going on? Well, the separation. Divorce. Well, not divorce yet. But we have to tell him something, just explain. I mean, all they talked about all afternoon was you. Why isn't Mummy coming? Can we come again with Mummy? I mean, they want to spend time with both of us. Well, they can't, can they? Well, why not? We said we'd put them first, and that's what they want. But that's all over for us, isn't it? Family life. Look, we're separated, fine. I respect that. I don't want it, but I respect it. Maybe we can just try an afternoon, you know, take them to the park together, just to see how it goes and help ease the transition. Never easy, is it? So how long should you stay under the same roof with someone after a split? It's, I mean, there's so many different circumstances involved in this, isn't there? But generally, what would your advice be, Janet? <laughs> <laughs> how long have you got? <laughs> yeah, well, um... I was married to somebody and it was a big... We, we decided literally within 48 hours it was a big mistake. Um, <laughs> you didn't waste any time. getting married? <laughs> yeah. Decided. Wow. Yeah. Actually, I've got a photo of me washing the kitchen floor on the morning after the wedding party and I'm more or less, you can read in my face, I shouldn't have done that. That was mm, a big yeah. mistake. But the big thing was it was my house. He was living in my house. I owned my house that I had after my first divorce. Uh, I bought back, I bought my husband out. I was like, you know, I borrowed the money to buy out my husband. So from that moment on, it was my house and I valued that house so much. I mean, it's interesting, I was thinking about it earlier. I didn't have children, but I had my house. And has it always been my, my house, house since? I'm afraid it has always been <laughs> my house. So when that uh, second marriage broke up, um, I was doing a TV series and I thought that, um, Back in the day, it would look really, really terrible if it came out that my marriage was a flop within 48 hours of actually doing it. <laughs> so my husband lived in the house with me and that was a one-bedroom house <laughs> for uh, about six months. And um, we had quite an amicable separation, but in the same house. And then eventually he moved out to a hotel uh, down the road where he said room service didn't answer back. <laughs> <laughs> and he was a lot So happier. he married them. <laughs> uh, then I was, uh, you know, I had my house back. But um, I think it's really difficult. And I, looking at that dilemma, when children are involved, I always think, yeah, I can see sense in that, renting a flat and alternating who's with, with the kids. And I think a lot of people have got sheds in the garden. You could be <laughs> one of you could be living in a shed, I suppose. I don't, I don't. I, I had to leave, you know. I, I tried to make my marriage work mm -hmm. and we tried staying in the same house probably for two or three years longer than we should. And, and a lot of it was I didn't want my kids to be from a broken home and but you know, weren't all they of watching? That. You but I not don't getting think up. it's a great uh, way to bring kids up to no. think that that's how relationships are, yeah. you know. And I think they would have grown up thinking that was a normal relationship, and it wasn't. Because mm -hmm. your you know, children yeah. are going to other households and of seeing course, other and they're couples, seeing who other are couples happy and, and other mm -hmm. mums and dads and holding hands home. or having a laugh, and then they're coming to me and he's one end of the couch and I'm the other, and that's not good. And it was actually Kira when she was 15 said, "I think you should leave, because I'm going to love both of you." Always, but I can't. I can't stand the way you are in the house because we were like lodgers living. But you in the see, same I think house. a lot of people, um, of people I know actually, will stay together uh, for the until they get their children to maybe university age or something. Because certainly from our Irish background and the whole guilt thing, I think there's something in your head that says I've got to get them so far. And I think you're like you're busy. Particularly, we were talking today about careers and everything. You're busy, and in a way, you. You, you make it work somehow because in your head you think, if I get them to university level, I'll have done my parenting. Mm -hmm. I will not, Could you have done never that, give though, up being a parent. Could you? Sorry? Would you have struggled with that, though? If, when, at, when emotions are involved, it's OK, sort of speaking practically, isn't it, because you think that's the best thing for children, but when you're maybe broken-hearted 
as part of that setup? Well, how, it didn't happen to me, that? so it's very hard to say if it didn't happen, but I do know people who have made it work yeah. um, because there wasn't anybody else involved. And so they just continued on. Yeah, in the I, same I think house. that well, it, it made it work. It depends on the situation. Yeah. Because if you're in a very abusive relationship, obviously yeah. you would never encourage anyone to stay if there's any mm. abuse involved. And, and there is a good report, by the way, that says that children, ideally, unless it is abusive, would rather that their parents stay together than get divorced. And that's a, a solid report that's actually quite well known. Oh, well, we can't always do what our kids want. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is it. Rule my can... life enough. They're not really my love life as well. <laughs> exactly. And I, I think people do very well sometimes. And you, you talk about amicable, and you seem to have done that actually yeah, all my, the time. They are, there, Janet, and there my are ways of managing. relationships are amicable in the end, but you do have to put a lot of work into it. Yeah. And I think you have to accept sometimes that you're better off being apart. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think so.